Welcome everyone to Farming Simulator 25. This is actually going to be my very first time ever jumping into a farming simulator, but I've always seen and heard very good things about the previous ones. They've always been like overwhelmingly positive on Steam. So let's see how this is. We're jumping straight into career mode, fresh save, and uh, we'll take it from there. So we got save game options. The Riverbend Springs, Bhutan, Antai, and it. Zialanka. Let's go with Riverbend Springs. Preset, new farmer, farm manager, start from scratch. Let's go new farmer since I quite literally am a new farmer. Economic difficulty. Uh, okay, so farmer, manager. Start farm. Yeah, let's just go new farm. I don't know exactly what I'm getting into just yet, so we can always bump things up down the line. Because I, like I said, literally first time playing, I really don't know other than obviously you're running a farm. And I feel like for anybody else potentially jumping into the game for the first time, this might be a good, good way of seeing how it works. But yeah, I've, I've been a big fan of a lot of other simulator games, of course, different brand and everything, but we got Flight Sim coming out later this month, which I'm really looking forward to. I've also done the crime scene cleaner simulator not too long ago. Uh, I got really into thief simulator for a while. I'm trying to think of any other more like day jobs. I, I've seen like the food simulator games that have been out there. Nowadays, there's there really is a simulator for everything. Take a shot every time I say simulator in this video. <laughs> well, let's see how this is. I'm honestly kind of excited. All right, so let's see what we got for character customization. I already selected my hairstyle. We're just going to stick with the uh, standard one, or well, this right here. Already got the uh, color as well. Looks like backspace is the selected color. Then beards. Um, okay. okay, there's a decent amount here. You know what? If I'm going farmer, I feel like I got to throw on a, a full beard. Not just some 5 o'clock shadow. I got to throw on a full beard there. Okay, there's even outfits. Wow, that's surprising. Yeah, I wasn't sure how in-depth this is going to be. Branded outfits, too. <laughs> oh, wow. They have Volvo? Wait, what? John Deere? I don't know literally any of those other brands. A decent amount here, though. Surprisingly, I want to feel. I don't want to be basic, but I feel like I'm going to end up being very basic. Let's see. Can we even. Uh, there's no other options underneath. Okay, wait. So maybe if we do, honestly, I kind of like this outfit, but I wanted to take off the hat and the sunglasses. My man's got, probably going to be pretty hot in that, actually. I do have a tank top. I feel like I'm creating my, uh, you know what? Sure, we'll go with the farming simulator shirt. I feel like I'm creating a character in Skate, which I haven't played in years. Showcasing a good amount of options here, so we gotta go with all black shoes. All right, that's better. No hats, no glasses, no gloves. I think we're good. Confirm. Welcome to your new farm. It's mid-morning when you arrive on the farm. Walter, your grandfather, is no longer able to look after the farm, so you are now taking over. Familiarize yourself with the game before you go to greet your grandfather. Start with the interface. You'll be able to, you'll find all the important information on your screen. Click anywhere to continue. Okay, date, time, balance. Tour progress. Get familiar with the UI elements. Press the direction buttons to move. Got it, tour. Okay, WASD. Got all that. Oh, oh. Okay. Give it a second. I think things are loading in or... 
it's just running a little rough. I have not checked any of the settings yet, so let's actually take a quick look. Save. Let's save every five minutes. Okay, nice. So you can actually uh, adjust this at any time. That's good. Love to see that. AI workers. It looks like you can buy AI workers. Fuel usage. Trailer fill limit. Dirt. Oh, there's a decent amount here. I'm not seeing any graphics settings, though. Radio. Gear shift. Drills. Okay. I guess we'll find out. There's my flashlight. Oh man, this game is running. Let me see. Let me see if I can check the settings. Okay, after a little bit of settings changes, I think we got it running a little bit better. It seems to be stuttering. I checked the reviews though, and it seems like that's the uh, biggest complaint right now. But we're going to press on. Uh, just for reference, I have a 3080 Ti, i7 12th gen. Right now, the game's using about like 50% uh, percent GPU and 15% CPU. So, uh, and it is set to, I changed it down to medium settings. Because uh, the draw distance goes up to like 150%, uh, but medium drops it down to 100%. So, but even on high, to be honest, it really wasn't that much of a difference. Uh, so, let's see. Let's talk to Grandpa here. You talk to people on the farm specific locations on the map. Press the button to talk to them. There's R for Welcome conversation. Welcome to our lovely farm, kiddo. Hey, Walter. I'm glad you're here to continue the family business. The fact that you're about to take over the farm makes your pops quite happy, not gonna lie. When your father told me on a visit that he didn't want what I built here, I thought that was it. He even called it a dung heap when he left in his fancy suit. Oh. <laughs> and then he stepped into manure on the way to his car. It's okay that he does his own thing, but I thought I had to sell the farm. Thanks to you, it can stay in the family. You don't know what that means to me. Otherwise, your crazy uncle might have turned it into an amusement park with the main attraction of catching chickens on the fields or something. Anyway, let's not talk about that just now. I can tell you some stories later. And just so you know, I'm not out of the picture just yet. I'm here if you need me. Just like your friendly neighbors you should talk to sometime. They're nice people. A bit strange, perhaps, but still delightful in their own ways. <laughs> so, do you want me to give you a quick tour? And uh, show you some things? Yes, give me a tour, please. Okay, then. Let me show you a couple of things. Ease you in. There will always be people to help you out. But it's good to have done all the steps yourself, at least once. Right next to the farm... We're going to work on a field. There's also a big tractor with a cultivator. I'll walk you through how to operate it. I can't wait to see you get started. Let's do it. Let's go, Grandpa. Meet Grandpa in the barn on the right side. Okay, so we're headed over here. We got map view. Okay, wow. Jeez. Wait, is that a bus coming? Or is that a train? Oh, there goes a train. That's kind of cool. It's interesting. All right, let's uh, go over here. Grandpa, how'd you get over there so fast? Wait, is he still over there too? No, he's not. <laughs> Are you ready to roll? Yeah. Then hop onto the tractor and attach the cultivator. It's just to the back. Okay. First step, before you can uh, start, you have to get in your vehicle. Press E to enter. Just like that. Exactly. I'm in. Now we do the work. Meet me at the field over there. Drive to the marked spot and let Walter explain your first task to you. Accelerate, decelerate, steer. Got it. Okay, I think I see. Oh. 
I'm like 90, I want to say I'm 90% sure that they're using AI voices, which personally, I would rather, of course, it's always better to have actual voice actors, but if it's not in the budget, I'd rather have some over none at all. So before we can sow anything on the field, but it's we very need to take clear. care of the stubbles, cultivate, prepare it for the next season. Otherwise, the grain will not grow very well. Lower Otherwise. the cultivator and drive straight ahead. It's easy as spilling milk. Okay. So we just drive. To be able to use your attachments, you must first select them and bring them into the working position. Press G and then lower the tool. Okay, so I press G. Is there an indicator? All right, it's ready. Let's go. Zoom out a bit. So I guess we just got to get all of this here. Okay. I will say the game looks pretty good when you zoom out. I mean, some of the foliage, obviously the trees that don't look too great. But try going over here. Hopefully, I'm doing this right. It reminds me a little bit of like lawn lawnmower simulator, which was like, uh, another one of those that I played for a bit. I had a good time though. Got to cultivate the field. Bring it out and these types of games are always like very satisfying though. Keep chopping it down. Sharp turn. All right, let's hit this one. Let me bring it in a little closer. I'm trying not to like miss the edges. Driving the car feels pretty good. Or truck or vehicle. Listen, I'm, I'm very clearly not a uh, a farmer myself okay i don't know any of the terminology besides vehicle crops or any of the stuff that we use here the gear but i'll give you that that fresh perspective of somebody not knowing what they're doing but following the instructions given all right, we're at 85%. Okay, not bad, not bad. Ooh, okay, they can we get this. Come on, oh, that turn was a little too much. Let's see. I wonder how detailed it's going to need to be for that 100%, because I know a lot of games like this, as long as you get like 95%, then it auto completes the rest. But I guess we'll see. We'll find out. Good. We're done here, kiddo. Yep, there. Now drive back to the garage and get out the cedar. Okay. Lift the tool. Okay, so V drops it. And in the top left, you can also see it too. Cool. We just gotta drive it back in. Now we change tools, kiddo. Get rid of the cultivator and attach the cedar. 
I used to detach this. Now you need to drive back slow. All right, so we're gonna back it in here. Give it all good back in. Attach the tool, Q. That's how it's done. The sewing machine you just attached is empty. But don't you fret, I just went to the store. Next to the shed, you will find a big bag with seed. Get over there to fill the seed. All right, we gotta go fill this with seeds. This R to start filling. Filling it with wheat. Well done. Now you're ready to go. Last week, I cultivated a field. Cultivated fields are ready to be sown. It's pretty straightforward. Drive the machine to the field and meet me there. We'll bring out canola. Canola? Okay. Oh, 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 it's stuck. Hold on. Hold, hold. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Hold on, hold. Give me a sec. All right, we're good. Drive to the field and meet grandpa. Here we are. One thing you need to pay attention to is timing. Plants need to be sown in specific seasons. It's midsummer. It's the perfect time to sow canola. And any other period, you might want to switch to a different kind of crop. You can always check the crop calendar. First, we need to prepare the seed. Choose the canola seeds as the... Okay, select the seeds. Seeding is... While seeding, straight line. Go back and forth to bring out the seed with as few gaps as possible. At some point, you'll have to buy a big bag of seeds at the store to refill it. But now you can use what you've got. Now, you only got to switch the machine on and lower it to the ground. Okay. So we turn it on. Lower it to the ground. Let's do it. Okay. So we lowered it. Now we got to turn it on. Here we go. Let's go. Hold. Hold on. You know what? Let me readjust. 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 I thought it was going to be automatically turned on. Now the game's running fine. Maybe it takes a second for it to, to load everything in. Okay. Here we go. Drop it down. Turn it on. Are we doing it? Yes, we are. Hard to tell a little bit, but we technically are. Oh, I can see it. That's how it's done, kiddo. Oh, by the way, always keep an eye on the weather. According to the weather forecast, it's going to rain soon. That's perfect for canola, but not as good for the wheat on the other field. If you want to hire a helping hand at some point, you can. We're done here. The helper will do the rest. Oh, okay. Hire a helper. Press H for an AI worker. Working with what? Wait, that's actually kind of cool. Start with up, down, headland, skips, and lines. Wait, it actually shows you what it would look like, too. Okay, that's actually kind of cool. Good job. Field workers are a great support if you're busy and cannot finish the job in time. Wow. Now get back to the garage and get out the harvester. Let's do it quickly. Press the button to switch vehicles. Switch to the next vehicle tab. There you are. Oh, wow. How do you feel? Are you up for something exciting? Because we'll do the harvesting. Now. There's a right field that needs taking down. You still up for the header for the harvester sits on the trailer attached at the let's meet at the field but drive carefully that machine is a beast all right well, let's get over there then 
Oh, that's cool. You can actually see the AI driving around. I know you can play like co-op with the, this game too. Yeah, it seems to be running way better now. So maybe it just took a time for shaders to, to load and everything. Oh God, I feel like I just went the wrong way for this, but. It's okay, we can fit through here. Definitely made this way more complex than it needed to be. But hey, we're getting there. This thing is huge. All right, let's turn on to the road. Made it, Grandpa. So let's do this. You'll need to prepare the machine. With a combine harvester, the header cuts the plant. Those headers have different widths, depending on the size of the combine. Go detach the trailer, then drive the harvester with its front to the header and attach it. Okay. Detach the header trailer from the combine harvester. And then we need to grab it from the front. Oh, grandpa, sorry. Man, it's really strong. Oh, okay, so I see. So you can transport it like that, and then you go and you grab it like this. Oh, oh. Oh, wait, forward to the head. Okay. We don't back it. Ah, I see. Okay. Now hook it. Good, you're almost set Perfect. now. Before you can start harvesting, the grain tank needs to be unfolded. Do that and bring yourself into position on the field. Unfold the grain tank. Okay, so we hit X. So it drops that thing. Ah, I see. Okay, I'm getting it. I'm, I honestly, this is a good training simulator. I might go start a farm after this. You can see that the field is nearly done already. Yep. I was feeling a little wobbly in the knees earlier, so I left it for you. Thought you might want to try it out anyway. All you need to do is to steer the harvester into the field, unfold the tank, start the harvester, and do the rest. Turn your machine on. With a combine of this size, harvesting takes some time, but soon you will be able to buy a bigger one. Now go at it. This is small. We have to lower it, right? Yeah, there we go. I love how he says, oh, with, with one of this size, yeah, it's pretty small, but you'll be able to get a, a larger one eventually. Grandpa, that's crazy. This thing feels huge. Leaving a whole trail behind us. So I guess it collects the, the weed itself and then drops the rest behind it. Is the next step going to be flattening that out again? All right, let me go like this. Bring it in a little bit more. Harvest your field. We have forty percent. It's a cozy game. It's cool so far. I wonder, can you are you able to go into first person?
while in the actual vehicle. Select camera, C. Aha, uh -huh. oh, oh, oh God. Seems to be like stuttering in first person. Kind of cool though. Look at that. I do prefer third person for sure. But either either way. I know a lot of people have like steering wheels and stuff like that specifically for this game. Which you never as a person obviously not familiar with it, looking in. I, I wouldn't even think of something like that, but it does make sense if you're driving vehicles around to do a lot of uh, mechanical work. So I, I totally get it. I've always wanted to do like a stream or something of the uh, truck simulator games. Well, let me back this up. And I have played a bit of like SnowRunner in the past and the, they had a recent one, SnowRunner Expedition or MudRunner Expeditions, I think it was, which was kind of cool. Yeah, swapping back and forth between these is fun. All right, we're at 93%, 94. Probably gonna auto complete like any second. Nice one, oh. kiddo. That's it. You have my blood in your veins, after all. The harvester has a limited capacity to store the crop. Now we need to unload the wheat onto a trailer to sell it. Prepare your harvester for unloading by unfolding the pipe. Toggle the pipe. Ah, okay. Pipe to start the stem, and the wheat will start to pour out. Of it. But we're missing something, aren't we? There's no trailer. Go get the trailer. Switch back to or switch to the next vehicle. Go back to the field so we. Can... Ah. Now we're bringing this. Bopping vehicles like that is pretty efficient. On our way over. To empty the tank of your harvest, pull along. The trailer is in the correct position directly below the pot. Oh, sweet. It'll do it automatically. All right. Oh, 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 God. Come on, let me do this different way. Pull up right here. Neat, huh? Wait it out until it's unloaded. Neat, huh? It is nice that it automatically does it. What's the chain for? Is that the amount well in it? Well done, kiddo. You can either store the crop in your silo, or you can sell. This load I promised to a vendor friend of mine. He's already waiting for you. So all you've got to do is drive the tractor with the trailer to his unloading station. Now drive to the grain elevator. To okay. Just gotta drive this over there. I guess I can cut through my own. Oh, 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 oh. my own farm how fast can this thing go 40 kilometers per hour down this road we didn't look left or right Oh, wait. Oh, shoot. Uh, we're going to have to cross the road. Oh. 
We have to get to the bridge. Because I don't think this thing can drive through water like that. Grind the grain elevator and meet Walter. All right, I'm going to try going up this hill. Oh, actually, no, I'll follow the road. Get up onto this road. Nobody's going to stop me for not stopping at the stop sign. Surely. Now, I wonder, will cars actually pass you? Oh, they do. They do. Oh my God, bro. What was that? What is he doing? Okay. That's pretty accurate. <laughs> Whatever driving AI they, they got, that's pretty accurate. You know, a car tries to pass, they choose not to. And then all of a sudden they, they pass, they break, and then they get in front of you. This oh. is one of many softwares. If you don't like the prices you get on the market, you can also store the grain in your farm silo to wait it out. Sell your now, drive the Okay, that's cool. We can always just store it and wait. Alright, we gotta dump it. I guess there's some sort of container underneath all well of this. Done. At some point, you'll do this in your sleep. Now, let's. Yeah, let's get back to the farm. Willow Lumber Company. Toggle cruise control. Oh, uh, that's kind of nice. Yeah, my hands hands are off the wheel right now. It lags a little set, a little bit going back into the the tractor. All right, where'd the map go again? We'll make a left. Right here. And then I'll, I'll go past the next turn. There's the school bus. Make a left right here. Made it back. Leave the vehicle. Okay. Not too bad. All right, Grandpa, what's next? You're back. Splendid. Yes, I am. I started wondering if you joined your father. Well, where were we? Right. You've seen the most important steps on the field now. There's always more to do, like yield improvement, liming, fertilizing, weeding... Those require special equipment. Next thing is gaining a bit of a feel for everything. I'll just leave you to it so you can try out a few things. You don't want your old grandpa meddling with your business all the time, do you? But I'll be here if you need anything. If you want more detailed info, you can also ask Ben. He has been one of my most trusted helpers in the past. He will gladly explain a lot of farming techniques. Now, get to farming. Dung heap indeed. <laughs> You'll do just fine. This farm is your farm now. 
successfully finished the guided tour. Oh god, what do I do now then? Um, well, I guess I go back to the wheat thing. Is it this guy? Yeah, I guess so. Wait, what happens if I press H? Oh. Uh oh. Uh, what did I do? Create job. Go to. All right, I think I have to actually do the seating before I can do that then. I guess we'll start with uh, canola then. That's what the tutorial taught me, so I'll begin with that. Yeah, we have 78% of this left. Wait, did the AI actually start this? It looks like it might have been planted. Does that look different or is it the same? Wonder if there's a way to tell. Oh, there's also a ton of wheat right there too that I could collect. All right, let's see, AI worker. Hold. Oh, cool. They're going to, to set this up for this entire place. All right, let me grab this thing. Let's lift it up. Uh, how do we move the thing back in, pipe in? I'm gonna bring this over to that other, uh, the grain area. All right, let's attach this. Bolt. that automatically attached good and then we're gonna attach this that way we can transport it back over there boom I wonder how much it, it actually ends up costing using the AI stuff okay I'm getting it I'm getting it it's nice that you have some resources already planted. I really wonder though, how do you tell if something's been planted in a spot? Let me turn right. It's like, I can't tell if this field has been done already or, or what the case is. To me, it, I guess it kind of is. Okay, I can see that. You can see the paths that they've done so far. Okay. Let me drop this. Oh, oh. We're going to back it up over here. Attach this. I can. Got it. Is 
Then we're gonna turn it on. All right, first you need to unfold it. Turn this on, lower it. We're con collecting canola. Let me see what happens. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, I see. So it'll automatically, like, go to the center. Work the headlands. Start with headland. Ah. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Oh, 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 whoops. Back it back up. Turn it back on. I don't know, something about stuff like that I, I kind of like where you can, you can sit here and set it, let it do its thing and kind of just watch along or follow along with it. I know some people will be like, well, why even play that? But I don't know. It skips out the mundane things if you get tired of doing it for so long. That is kind of cool, though. All right, we're going to, I guess, do the, the headland. I think that's what they called it. Is that what it was? Headland, yes. The outskirts first. I, like, I wish the one thing on the map, I wish it kind of had some sort of marker saying like, hey, this, this vehicle is now using or not this vehicle, I'm thinking, because I'm driving this. I wish there was some sort of indicator like, hey, this field has this. There probably is somewhere, like there's gotta be, right? But I just don't know where that's at. I don't know how to tell what is, uh, what field is complete and what isn't. My first day on the job. Daytona, brother. Daytona. Always wanted to start my own farm. Grandpappy. Grandpappy Walter. Go me the ropes. with a small loan of a hundred thousand dollars we don't talk about what grandpappy got got up to when he was my age grab this one oh back it up here let's make it perfect I wonder how fast that actually grows, too. Because obviously in real life, it takes a lot of time. But what, it's August right now? I should watch like a tutorial, not a tutorial, but like a tips video or something. I'm sure there's tons of videos out there for something like this. Also, does this thing get full? I hope it'll tell me, like, hey, you're now full on the amount, and now you gotta go actually go sell. Surely there's a limit.
Okay, so it looks like maybe if it's light brown, those are areas that haven't been planted yet. And dark brown, like now that I can see to com compare the two, dark brown is areas that have been seeded. So both of those have canola in them. Watching to see the top if it fills up at all. I wonder too if it takes money from you. Yeah, it looks like it. I'm dropping like a dollar per minute. Probably for paying the AI to do the other job. Might be more than a dollar. Yeah, my guess is whenever you're done here, I guess you just like go straight into planting another one. I don't know if you have to like flatten it out. I just watched the AI over there too. They picked up the, uh, they l lifted the thing. You know that thing. The equipment, I guess to move around a little easier. Yeah, there they go. They lifted it again. I wonder what happens if you start most of it and then like say if like all of a sudden now I want to do this. Will the AI still like go over the entire thing again? It looks like they might just drive through it and if they detect something, maybe they will. Or if not, maybe they won't. Turn on Harvester. Thing looks like it's getting pretty full. Let's see. Let's check this crop calendar. Ah, okay. So we're in August right now. So the best thing, yeah. Best is canola into September. Rice and potatoes. Harvest season. Oh, okay. I see. I see. So right now is good planting season for that. And then you harvest the rest. Then September and October, you want to plant wheat and barley. And then harvest these i'm guessing we want to harvest the canola here anyways though because we have nothing else it's just what is best to harvest and it's prep i wonder how time works in the game too like do you get through an entire day and then it goes into into September because this entire time I think we started at like 5 6 a.m. maybe I saw it was 8 a.m. not long ago all right there the AI is almost done over there I'm curious where they're gonna go almost done here too i can tell how full this thing's becoming hey, look at it filling up a ton yeah 
Yeah, it's pretty cool. I mean, besides the technical side of things, uh, I'm curious how this game's gonna go with the, the fans, how, how it'll perform with the fans of Farming Simulator. If you are one, here's the 51 minute call out if you are still watching and you haven't left a comment already or you haven't tapped that like button, now would be a perfect time to do so. If you do have any tips, feel free to throw them in, in the comments. Um, I'm testing out a few different videos or games this week. So it's kind of up in the air. If things perform well, or if some of these do well, then I will obviously continue on with some more episodes. And that going back to the likes, that is the big, biggest indicator for it. not only myself, but obviously other uh, Let's Plays channels, YouTube channels, gameplay channels. The more you, you watch and you like something, the more, most of the time, they're willing to put out more things of that content that you enjoy. So, myself included. But yeah, I'm testing out a few games this week uh some stuff that i don't know i was feeling a little adventurous and this is one of those nice it looks like so the ai completed over there i wonder if i go back to grandpa and tell him like what I've done if that does anything. Or like, hey, what should I what suggestions do you have? That's kind of my biggest thing with simulators a lot of times. I feel like most of the time there's a little bit of a missed opportunity on story. Reap what you sow own use I feel like there's a lot of games where I feel like it would it would have been really cool if they spent more time making like a quest line or something along those lines as far as simulators go cuz then it's like yeah you can go out do your own thing or if you want a goal or a list of ob objectives to do that's what pulls me in personally all right let's turn this thing off we actually did it we got that one Pull this thing all the way over here. Nice. I know I put that on the wrong side, <laughs> but that's okay. Can I? Oh, shoot. Wait, I pressed H. Oh, no, no, no. Did not mean to do that. Wait, farmland? Oh, you can actually sell the farmland. Visit, sell. Oh, there's Ben. Taylor shop, Goldcrest Valley. Oh, so there's a bunch of other, oh my God. Oh my God, there's so many farmland. <laughs> So we started with just this little place then. We got some cow pastures too, some gas. We try attaching this thing. Hold on. I know this is gonna be a little tight. Yeah. <laughs>
That's not what I was trying to do. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, God. Does it damage them, I wonder? I feel like if I'm driving over my own supply of stuff, it's probably damaging them in some way. that over there I just move this let's see what grandpa has to say yeah, it's running a lot better now. Uh, can we save as well? Oh, here we go. Weed fertilized. Oh. Needs lime. Needs rolling. growth that would end the day whoa what's up kiddo can I help you with something here's what you can help your fellow farmers with if you like and help with harvesting. Let's reap what was sown then. Grains were sown. Do you own the required machines? Or do you, how do you want to do it? I got everything. Oh, okay. Harvest contract. Harvesting field 32. Oh, yo, wait. That's actually kind of cool though. A couple of people in town can help you, kiddo. We have experts on agriculture, animal husbandry, and forestry. Let's... Okay. Wait, that's actually cool. So I could now have... Now I have a contract to go up here and go do that. Harvesting field 32. Huh. All right. Well... We are going to sh keep this episode short and sweet. So if you did end up enjoying this again, leaving likes does help out a ton. I'll try to jump in and record another episode for now. That's, uh, that's all I got. So, uh, like I said, testing out a few videos this week. If you want to watch anything else, feel free to check them out. All my channel page has playlists for everything that I do play. And for now, that's it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.